Knights Freeholders, men, women, both Cornish and English, please be upstanding for Justice Jan Tregeagle. Yeah. Unkempt, uncivilised. Your rampaging has spread clamour and alarm. Clamour and alarm? You've disturbed the peace. Yeah, yeah, he has. Frighten the yeah. children, let yes, them, they're yeah. terrified. Oh, <laughs> no. Yes, you have. You're a deviation from the acceptable. Deviant. Deviant. You're an affront to decency. Affront. Oh, what does that mean? How do you plead? Silence. Silence. Your dumb insolence shouts your gift. My court has awarded your draw upon hurdles to the place of execution. <laughs> See, they're concerned about you. And you should be hanged by the neck and being alive, cut down. Your privy member to be cut off. Your entrails to be taken out of your body. You live in the same to be burned before your eyes. Your head to be cut off, and your body divided into four children. Be sent to the four corners of Cornwall as an example to other rebellious spirits. By the way, to my all of I hold dear, this beast is guilty! 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 guilty. guilty. In comes I! From hell's hot coals, in endless chase of weekly souls. But you honest bobmaners have no fear. This beastly trial is why I'm here. I'll defend this beast as best I may, but cause no harm your festive day. I'll disprove Tregeagle's false litigation with compelling evidence. You want to put your finger at me, I'm standing here. <laughs> to reach this end and solve the mystery, I'll call several characters from Cornish history. If you want proof of what I say, no, I can't even see you. Step in, King Hal, and show us the way. King Hal, King Henry, a man with courage bold, and with my sword of steel I've won a crown of gold. If your blood is hot, I soon will make it cold. With his long teeth and sturdy jaw, of such oh. I break up half a score and stay my stump till I'm more. Fight! 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 you make him to a different tackle I'll take. Run, does you? I stuck the beast with my sharp pin, and he didn't quake or quiver. I think I'll bound his territory beyond the Tamar River. Oh, Hogan, oh, this good news or good? Oh, this good is good. Learn to beat the dance, Hogan. Learn to suffer. I call Sir Anthony Kingston. Oh, no, you don't. You do It's Anglo and Flamand. Yeah. Oh, oh, I'll call somebody else. I'll call Michael and Michael Joseph Van Gogh and Thomas Flamain. Now we want Brilliant. Anthony Kingston now. <laughs> <laughs> but we, you're the Cornish men. We are certain of us speak the weak English. We utter refute this new English. Help you kill Michael Joseph and Thomas Flamain. Henry Kizzy. Henry Kizzy and Lou Kenewick. Kelthus Bees and Lundry. Again, uh, and that the aliens stop them. Remember Thomas and Mike of Bobkin, of Michael Joseph, they marched to London and there suffered vengeance. Oh. Who are we going to call now? Ghostbusters! Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I've got a cool Anthony Kingston this time. So yeah, come on. In comes I, Sir Anthony. My rules are harsh but fair. If you are Cornish, you must hang, and that includes your mayor. With my hangman's hemp in hand, he is who is not fit to hang, he is not fit to stand. But, sweet simple Cornish folk, don't lose hope. His man's neck is not very big, who fears a bit of rope. 
for silver, Simmer and Jack transfile for gold. Russell Mine, New Zealand for manganese. Grimesdorf, England for coal. Michigan for copper. Every hole in the world has some jacks at the bottom. Behold, we can see what we have done. Slaying the beast like the evening sun. Okay. <laughs> Learn the beat of the dance for more. Learn to suffer. Do not weave for the beast who lies bleeding in chains. He hears not your words and he knows not your pains. We'll cut off his brush and we'll peg out his eye and we'll plant us a furze bush to show where he died. Beyond the wide reaches of how they were mine, he led us a chase till the last of us time. He led us a chase for six hours at full cry, but now, like the evening sun, he must die. I call Dr. Lazar St. Lawrence. Lazar St. Lawrence. Lawrence, and I've got pills to cure all ill. The ezic, the pezic, the pox and the gout. Pains on the inside, pains, pains on the outside, out. and pains in his backside. I can sort them all out. But I'm afraid this beast is, this beast is psychologically disorganized. And his mental capacity means that he's a danger not only to himself but to all other people. And I must administer some corrective therapy. Blue point to Blue point to Blue point to Blue point 
I call <laughs> Miss Nita Binks. Uncivilized if denied a choice. When he roams, you say he rampages, but this is his home, denied him for ages. Of deviance and indecency he stands with you when he is the one that has been abused. We have fear we hear of widespread fear and alarm, but it's Tregeagle himself who has caused that harm. Mm. Yeah. His very existence is his only offence. There. Rest the case for the beast events. You're just defending one of your own. This beast is not mine. It could never be. I'll call in some Petrock and you will see. Call some Petrock! Call some, some Petrock! In come I, your patron saint. My bonus is in that box. Maybe you can eat again. Never let it be forgot. This town is some Petrock. I've seen this dragon in his lair out in Calcade of Maya. And with God's good grace, I'll tarn the beast and soon put out its fire. I haven't, I haven't, I haven't. What have we? What have we? What have A splinter, a splinter, a splinter. Well, I'll be down. Yes, you will be. Yes, you will. So, do you find the defendant guilty? No! Or the trial is done. The beast is free. Woo! Yay! Yay! Huzzah! Huzzah! But there is one soul here who is guilty. Our verbal contract was perfectly legal. So I claim the soul of Justice Dan the Eagle. Better, much better. You're getting the hand of these guys. 
For once the truth has been revealed, grievous wounds can start to heal. For whatever rumour you may hear tell, our beast is alive and well. And if you hear a roaring in the sky at night, it's not our beast, it's Tregeagle in flight. Ladies and gentlemen, our sport is now ended. See you next year. It is highly commended. That's it. Oh, brilliant. Are you going to march for